I made up my daughter Erin because Erin told the police that she told me she was being molested. That is not true. I did not know she was being molested. I thought Dave was a nice guy, sweet, liked the kids. None of Aaron's friends or parents of their friends, no one said anything. The day that Dave was arrested, my world shattered in front of me. About two months later, I was arrested for not protecting my children. When I got out of jail, I had to uh, register as a sex offender. I do not think I deserve to be on the sex offender registry list. I'm paying my ex-husband's dues, and I think it's unfair. Aaron threw me under the bus. I, I feel like I'm a good mom, but I do feel like Aaron betrayed me. OK, so Tina, you say that you're the victim here. You, you say you've been betrayed by your daughter. That's correct. And that is, is stunning to me. You, you, you have a child that has been molested sometimes daily for three years and seven of her friends have been molested and you feel like you're the victim. Can we go back a step? I feel like we're both the victim here is what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. I'm a victim because I'm on a registry where I should not be. And you shouldn't be because? I did not know she was being molested. Okay, she said that in the tape. She said, nobody ever took, no parents ever came to me. She didn't come to me. We didn't have this conversation. It never happened. What do you say to that? I think it's And you're just upset because you're on the registry. Erin, I'm upset about the whole thing, okay? I do know he ripped our family apart. Not just you. Everyone has been ripped apart, okay? You, me, you, yes, you are a victim. I'm a victim in a different way than you are, okay? So it does affect me as much as it affects you. It just affects you in a different way, okay?